I think there are three reasons why the Human Development for Everyone has been chosen for 2016 Human Development Report. Uh, first, uh, over the past 25 years, the world has made lots of progress on many fronts of human development, but uh, groups of people have been bypassed by that progress. The second reason is that um, the human development concept is very much anchored in universalism, which means human development for all. The report refers to a number of groups, groups like women and girls, ethnic minorities, indigenous people, persons with disabilities. In 18 countries, women need the permission of their husbands to do work outside home. Indigenous peoples, even though they are only 5% of global population, they constitute 15% of global poverty. Concrete policy recommendations cover two fronts, national investing in girls and women, uh, financial inclusion, sharing accountability and transparency. On the global front, what we are saying is basically that there has to be macroeconomic stability and the trading system must be fair and equitable. There should be a fair framework for migration. And finally, the sustainability and security at the global level must be ensured. And I think if we do it right, then at the end of the day, we'll see that we have reached our goal together. And when we look back, we'll see that no one has been left behind.